Okay, to graph a line, we need it to be in this form of y equals mx plus b. We are going to find the slope, then find the y-intercept. You graph the y-intercept. It should be on the y-axis. Remember, it's the point 0, comma, and a number. Then from the, then you'll graph the slope. Make sure the slope is in fraction form. Is the slope positive, positive or negative? And then you draw the line. So here we go. I'm going to come down here. We're going to find the slope first things first. Remember, y equals mx plus b. So the slope is 3. And remember I said in fractional form, so that would be 3 over 1. And just so we remember, that's the change in y, or rise, over the change in x, and that means you're going to run. So the direction of the line, okay? It is going to be a positive slope. So that means it is going to go in this direction. What is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is the b value. So that is negative 1. So right now it says graph the y-intercept. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to graph 0, negative 1. Now from that point, we are going to do a rise of 3. So we're going to go up 3 and we're going to go over 1. So up 3 and over 1. So up 3. So up 1, 2, 3. And we're going to go over 1. And we're going to plot a point. And then we would go up 1, 2, 3. And we would go over 1. Now, just so you know, you don't, you can also go in the opposite direction. But if I go down 3, 1, 2, 3, I need to go to the left because I still need my line to go in a positive direction. So I draw a line that goes through all of these points. Oops, that was a horrible line. Sorry about that. And make sure I put arrows on it. And there we have it. So I'm going to come over here. Now, do you notice how this is not in y equals mx plus b form? It's actually in y equals b plus mx form, which is fine. You just have to remember that the slope is sitting in front of the x, so negative 1 half. Oh, that says a negative slope, so we're going in the negative direction. We're going this direction. Then the y-intercept is this right here, so negative 3. So I'm going to plot negative 3 first, okay? So if I go up 1, I need a negative direction. That to the left is our negative direction. Okay, do that again. I can go up 1 and to the left 2. Up 1 to the left 2. Now, from the y-intercept, I actually could have gone down. I can go down 1. That's perfectly fine. And I would go to the right 2 and plot a point. I would go down 1 and to the right 2. As long as it's going in the negative direction is what I want. So down 1 to the right 2. And when I do that, then I did not notice that I did that. I did not go down first. I apologize. Oh my goodness. And if somebody was here, they would have yelled at me. 
I apologize. I did not go down. And did you notice that when I messed up, that when I drew my line, then that's when I noticed that I hadn't done it correctly. So if you draw a line and it doesn't actually make a line, then that means that you did something wrong. See, this time it goes through all of those points, so I know I did the correct thing. Over here, y equals mx plus b. So m is the number in front of the x, so that's negative 2 thirds. It's negative, so it's going downhill. My b value is 4. So I'm going to plot the point 0, 4, and that's right here. Okay, so if I go up 2, that means I need a negative direction. So I need, because up is positive, I need to go to the left 3. And when I do that, I plot a point. Then I go down 2 here, I go to the right 3. And I plot a point. From there, I go down two to the right three, and I plot a point. And I draw a line. Make sure I put arrows on it. Okay, right here, did I have the exact same thing? It's almost the exact same thing. Except for this, I have a slope of negative two-thirds like I just did. But this time, my y-intercept is negative four. So if I come down here, I do negative four. Okay. I'm going to go up two and to the left three and plot a point. I'm going to go up two. And I'm going to go to the left three and I'm going to plot a point. And again, I, from this, from the y-intercept, I could have gone down two, but I would have gone to the right three. And you connect the dots and put arrows. Okay, over here. My slope is the number sitting in front of the x, so that's negative 4, which is the same thing as negative 4 over 1. goes in the negative direction. This is like as if it has a plus 0 here, so it's going through the origin. This is a proportional relationship, so it's going to go through 0, 0. Then I'm going to rise up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. But it's a negative slope, so I have to go to the left one and put a point. Now I could have gone through the y-intercept and gone down 4 and to the right and put a point. And like so, I put arrows and then over here. So slope is going to be 4 fifths because that's the number sitting in front of the x. It is positive, so it is going to go this direction. The number that stands alone is negative 3. So I'm going to plot the point 0, negative 3 right here. It says my slope is 4 over 5. So I'm going to go up 4 over 5. So up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to go to the right 5. And I'm going to put a point. Or I could have gone down 4, but there aren't really any points to do that. So we're just going to draw a line and put arrows on it.